This is VR chat. Eat up, boy. <laughs> And I'm gonna be spending the next 100 days in here. All right, here we go, back at it again. Now over the next 100 days, my goal is to add 100 new friends in here by completing a set of challenges. So my first challenge I need to do is I need to join a world and I need to make one friend without saying literally anything. So on day one, I loaded up a McDonald's level thinking that nothing could go wrong at a McDonald's, right? As you can see, my microphone is off down here. I have a nuclear bomb. No, 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 don't launch a nuclear bomb. I just need you to add, add me as a friend. Oh, God, President Biden, don't let him near the nuclear codes. No! I clicked it. I clicked it. It's too late. Look! Oh, my God! Hug me! Hug me! Hug me! Oh, my God. Oh, well, sayonara. F in the chat, boys. Okay, well, that was a disaster. Let's save that challenge for friend number 100 at the end of the video. Now I have to find someone that will leave a like and subscribe to my channel, just like you guys, hopefully. And after joining a large playground area, I found Montgomery Gator, who told me that he was subscribed to my channel and said that he left a like on my newest video. I liked your newest one. I friended you, by the way. Now that Mr. Gator and I were friends, it was time to add 10 more friends using only my Kermit the Frog skin and voice. So on day number three, I loaded back into McDonald's and before I knew it, I had already found three new friends. That's three, I got three. After adding all five of my new friends at McDonald's, I thought it was appropriate to celebrate by throwing it back. I'm throwing it back, look at my dumpy. I'm throwing it back. Which unfortunately made Shrek feel some type of way. Shrek, get away from my booty. Shrek's coming for my booty. After narrowly escaping from Shrek, on day seven, I had to clear my head, go to the Black Cat bar, and hopefully meet some new friends. Which luckily I did right away when I found a frog that said that I was his first friend. You're the first, first person I ever added on here. And then I walked into the bathroom and saw probably one of my favorite avatars ever. Oh my gosh, it's me. How did you do that? Look at this little Gucci Gucci goo. Kermit, wake up. I just met you. You can't die on me now. But I was too late. Before he could add me, the Kermit puppet guy DC. So to cheer me up, I met another green guy in a hot tub behind a bar to make friend number eight. Would you like to be my friend? I'm down for that. You're my eighth friend. Well, out of there, Kermit. What would you like on this body? And after hearing about our amazing friendship, the bartender wanted in and also added me. Looking for friend number 10, I went to a house party where I ran into the first of many people who immediately knew who I was. This is a YouTuber, get out! I subscribe to your YouTube channel. I love your YouTube channel, bro. You made my day. Oh my God. And before I knew it, the entire room was full of people, but one of them wanted to make it very clear what he thinks about Elmo. Yeah. It was now day 14, and after I added 10 friends from using the Kermit voice, it was time to move on to making 10 friends using the random level selector. And oh my god did this challenge take a very long time. About 99% of the levels were completely empty, so I was very happy when I joined this world of unusually tall imps and made friends with one. Then I found a very eerie world with this all-knowing triangle god that locked eyes with me the second I spoke. Uh, hi. It didn't look like it wanted to add me as a friend, so I ended up leaving for a bar where I found another Kermit to add me as a friend. On day 20, I joined a small daycare where apparently I forgot that I had a job where I had to look after a kid for a little bit, and then I headed to a red forest where I met a voice actor for a Final Fantasy themed YouTube channel. My channel is Magitech Productions. I'm a Final Fantasy 14 voice actor. And then I ran into a guy that designed the level that we were on himself, which was absolutely beautiful. He did a fantastic job. But I ran into trouble on day 23 because I found out that this guy has been trying to take Miss Piggy away from Kermit and I had to fight to get her back. Defense wins championships. Defense wins championships. Oh no. Unfortunately, I was too weak and inexperienced as Kermit the Frog and got KO'd. So I had a boxing trainer add me as a friend so we could get better at a later date. Don't worry about Miss Piggy, we're a bunch of stuff. To get my mind off of losing Miss Piggy, I went back to the Black Cat Bar to hang out with my new friend, Weed Jesus, and his crew. We had a great time, and we also met Mario. It's a me, a Mario. And of course, we also met the one and only I Spice. Oh my god, I'm the hugest munch, Kermit. Kermit, are you a munch? I'm a munch. So of course we took the opportunity to get a selfie so we could post it on Instagram and get all that Instagram clout. But the most surprising part of the night by far was when I found out Spider-Man's big secret. What's up, Dad? <laughs> I'm your little son. Aw, oh, you got a kid? Ow! 
Stop it, daddy. Hi, <laughs> daddy. Doesn't even have my abilities, bro. Ew! I see spider web. Oh my god, he just shot a spider web. I mean, he might be your kid. Being completely unfazed by his new son and embracing fatherhood, he then brought out his balloons for all of the kids. Hey, you want a balloon? Oh my god, I got it! Spider-Man gave me a balloon! Which again made me so happy that I had to start dancing, showing off all of my moves, which obviously drew in another Kermit to celebrate with me. Oh, oh, go, I dude. can't resist. What's going on? Would you like a baguette? I love your baguette. And just before I was about to head to sleep, I was able to add this large, stylish roll of toilet paper to my inventory of friends. Yeah, big boy toilet paper. And that completes my first day IRL and day number 25 in VR chat. And at this point, I thought day one was pretty eventful, but you guys are not gonna believe what happens in days two and three later on in this video. So with that in mind, after getting a pretty terrible night's sleep, I decided to wake myself up with a timed lightning round challenge. That's right, it's time for the lightning round challenge where I have exactly 60 seconds to have somebody add me as a friend or else I blow up. And then you blow up. Skip it up and down up. Somebody add me as a friend. I have 60 seconds to add somebody as a friend or else I'm gonna blow up. I'm gonna blow up. 60 it's seconds. Blow up. 60 this seconds. Somebody please blow. add me. I have a bomb strapped to my chest. 22 seconds. Do you want Kermit the Frog to blow up? Do you want Kermit the Frog to blow up? Yes. I do. <laughs> Three, two, one. Okay, that didn't go as planned. Dude, they treated me like Gary did to SpongeBob in that one episode. Gary, there's a bomb strapped to my I thought for sure doing the old bomb strap to the chest routine would work, but apparently Kermit just, just, just blew up. He blew up almost as much as the inflation in the United States economy, which is why I've partnered with Upside for today's sponsor. And guys, you're gonna wanna stick around to the end of the sponsor because Upside is doing a crazy cash giveaway. That's right, guys. Even in the middle of recording a VR video, I like to find ways to help earn a little extra money on normal everyday expenses like grocery shopping, restaurants, and gas for my gas guzzling Escalade. And with the free Upside app, you too can earn cash back on all of these items. It's available at over 100,000 locations across all 50 states. And I personally like using Upside for gas purchases because those add up very quickly. Just like this gas station right down the road for me that's offering 64 cents off per gallon right now. And then after I filled up my 32 gallon tank, I had already saved about $20. The app is incredibly easy to use. Downloading it and creating your account takes less than a minute and the map function shows you all of the nearby cash offers in your area. All you have to do to claim it is link your credit card and then you can cash out your earnings whenever you want. Now, I know what you're thinking, Serial, how much how much could this really earn me every year? Well, it's a good thing I can read your mind because frequent users earn $340 in cash back every year, which is enough to buy 156 McDoubles from McDonald's. Just be sure to stay away from the kids with nukes while you're in there. And guys, as a special time limited offer, Upside is giving away $30,000 over the next 30 days to everyone who redeems an offer on the Upside app. So start now by scanning this QR code and signing up for Upside today. They've even hooked all of you guys up with a free $10 gift card after you make your first purchase using the Upside app. But remember guys, this is a limited time offer that's going to last shorter than the timer that I had to add someone as a friend at McDonald's. Thank you Upside for sponsoring this video. All right, let's try this again. 60 seconds starting now. Mommy long legs, add me as a friend. I want to be your friend. Almost immediately, I was able to have somebody add me as a friend with plenty of time left on the clock. And while the challenge didn't wake me up as much as I hoped it would, the absolute chaos that followed it 100% did. I didn't even have to tell you that I had a bomb strapped to my chest. Oh my god! Oh my god! What the f is wrong with you? I want you! I want you! <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> Oh my god. Hey, listen, man. Not all frogs can be this cool. <laughs> oh my god, what's happening to my body? And then somebody actually got their dad into VR so I could talk to them. My dad is coming. My dad's coming. Hello? Hello? Hey. Hey, this is Kermit the Frog. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> this is weird. <laughs> he was a little confused, but you know, he had the spirit. Everybody leave a like on the video. Yeah! Let's go! Thank you so much, sir. I really appreciate it. Hope you have a great rest of the day. After that, it turned into absolute chaos with 10 other Kermit the Frogs all wanting their attention. We're all Kermit the Frog here! <laughs> and then it turned into a game of Kermit Says. Kermit Says hit the gritty. <laughs> Look at all the gritties! Kermit Says bring out the Glock. 
Kermit says put the Glock away. Kermit on three. One, two, three, Kermit! Woo! And before we knew it, it was day 43 and the Kermit gang had moved back into their Texas mansion and wanted to say a few words before the Kermit feast. May you bestow upon us the power of the glizzy as we eat today and forever hold our peace. And uh, also please let the alligator that was just on this table never visit us again. Amen! Everybody dig in! With delicious food in our stomachs, we had another family member from somebody in game that wanted to talk to Kermit. Wait, can she hear me? Hey, yes, I can hear you. Hello, it's me, it's me, Kermit the Frog. How are you doing today? And after having a very pleasant conversation with Grandma Nini. Have a good day, Kermit. Thank you, I appreciate it. You have a great day too. We said our goodbyes to this insane lobby of Kermits. Now it was back to making friends and random servers. I quickly made a friend on the first map and then I joined a map with some men in black agents. Excuse me, young man. Do you know where the person is on this map? Look at me when I'm talking to you, sir. Oh my God, I can throw him? This is the men in black long throw. Yeah. Nice shot. New world record. The crowd goes wild. Thank you. Thank you. Really, you're too kind. All right, settle down now. Settle down. <laughs> and I met a woman in there named Drusella who was very happy to meet me. Probably the friendliest person I ever met in here. I am. And luckily, she added me as a friend, knocking off yet another challenge, adding a female friend. Then she informed me of a spooky world that she wanted to go to. Uh, previously, I went to this um, world where it's like a satanic temple or something. And there's this like really creepy corridor that like hums and bums and stuff. Uh -huh. And I can't go past it. I'm too scared. Do you want to go? Sure. So of course, being the gentleman I am, on day 48, I led the way down the spooky hallway. Oh, this looks like the tunnel, huh? I don't want to go there, but... Hey. hey, I'm right behind you. It's okay. I'm right behind you. But we ended up finding out that there was no jump scare after all, and it was just a chair at the end of the hall. I can't believe I was scared to go here. Only waited half a year to see this. Hey, we tried new things. We went past our fears. Speaking of spooky maps, it was time for me to complete a spooky challenge. On day 55, I had to make a friend in the back rooms. The back rooms. All right, we're in the back rooms now. Gotta make a friend in the back rooms. Gotta make a friend. Hello? Me? What? What? Oh! Oh God! Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh, oh I see somebody open the distance! Hey! Hey! I continued running for my life, knowing that I had to add a friend before the monster got to me, or else I had to start all over. Okay! 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 Guys, please, somebody add me! Somebody add me as a friend! Oh my God! He's still here! Huggy Wuggy, help me! Fight him! Yeah, fight Huggy Wuggy! Oh god, they're both chasing after me now! Oh my god! Oh my god, they're both chasing me! Freeze! Freeze! Okay, hang on, hang on, wait, wait. We can make a deal. You stay here, and I'm gonna run away! <laughs> Luckily, my strategy stalled the monsters just long enough for somebody to add me and make them stop. Hey, Mr. Backrooms Monster, look what I got! I got a friend request! Now it's back to the randomly selected maps. I joined up into a military base to try to enlist. I'm here to sign up for the United States military. I want that signing bonus. So I can go get that Hellcat. I'm willing to sign my life away. If only there was a drill sergeant around to make me sign the papers. But sadly, I was not able to get a Hellcat from enlisting, but I was able to find a map with giants on it. Oh, oh, you, oh, you picking, you trying to pick me up? Dude, that'd be really cool if you could like, Oh, oh, oh my God, oh my God, you can pick me up. What? And then I ate one of the giant's chocolates before realizing that I too could become a giant. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Oh my God. POV, you're an ant looking at Kermit the Frog. <laughs> Hello, little guy, how are you? Then I warmed up by the campfire before asking the ever important friend question to the Legion of Soldiers right in front of me. Excuse me, everybody. I don't mean to interrupt, but I'm trying to make some new friends. Uh, may I befriend one of you small people? But apparently they don't take too kindly the giant Kermit the Frogs and open fire on me. No, 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 listen, listen, I'm a friendly Titan. After the small people drove me away, I realized that there was a whole other side of the map that I didn't even know existed and blew my mind. What? 
What? Mr. Krabs, I have an idea. Another beautiful sunny day in New York City. Not a cloud in the sky. Well, wait, wait, what's that? What's, oh my God, it's, it's a giant Kermit the Frog. The giant Kermit the Frog has decided to start twerking in downtown Metropolis. Moving on from that map, I started to realize that after being in VR for so long that it really started taking a toll on my mental sanity. I'm losing my mind. Joke's on you, I lost my mind a long time ago. Who am I talking to? On day 63, I joined a world that was currently celebrating Toyotathon. Oh my God, is that a 1996 Toyota Corolla? Dude, I used to ride in one of these things all the time as a kid. Wanna ride one again? Oh my God, yes, I thought you would never ask. Can I add you as a friend? I I've always wanted to add a Toyota on VR chat. Sure, why not? And of course we had to celebrate the new friendship with an emo. Oh my God, you did a wink! Before making it official and becoming a part of the Toyota family myself. Yeah, we're Toyota brothers. Toyota. I'm ready for a Toyota-thon. Oh my God, oh my God, it's a duple, it's a double ride. I never knew I wanted to witness a Toyota riding another Toyota. On day 65, I met Jesus at McDonald's, but after he added me as a friend, I accidentally said the wrong thing to him. Hell yeah. I mean, heck yeah. I Sorry, I did not mean to say that right in front of you, Jesus. And then on day 68, I closed the night off by making a friend on a racetrack. Oh, Timmy, it's time to go to sleep. All right, guys, well, it's time to go to sleep again. Uh, as you can see, I am in a cool little, like, uh, hotel room. Ow, what the f***? Oh, you're over here. Ow, I just punched this chair. Oh, Timmy. <laughs> like, what? As I got comfy in bed, I really started to notice myself getting more and more insane. Seeing that door over there? Oh, Timmy, I'm gonna come into your room regardless of whether you give me consent or not. Why is Timmy Turner's dad from the Fairy Odd Parents just stuck in my head? The, oh, Timmy! I think it's because I'm spending too much time in degenerate lobbies in VR chat, rotting my brain to the core. Oh, Timmy, I have insomnia. All right, it's day 85 and I'm ready to complete this 100 friend challenge. We had an extremely hectic day two, but day three is going to be just as hectic. We started the day off by doing another find a friend in 60 seconds challenge. This time I'm gonna have one of my friends get a friend for me. So they're gonna be the ones who have to get a friend for me. This is my friend right, right over here. Hey, how you doing? I need two soda pops right now and I got my friend here. He can't talk. The reason why, you don't have him at it yet, but I need two soda pops on the fucking double. If you wanna hear him talk, he's got some magical words of wisdom for you, but you gotta add him as a friend first because he's a little bit of a shy pussy puss. It was great success. And now I can finally tell them their words of wisdom. I have my words of wisdom. Always drink Mountain Dew. And if you drink enough, you'll get these cool things that are called kidney stones. You're an iPad kid. All right, all right, Timmy, put the iPad down. You've had too much screen time today. Yo, I'm watching Coca Melon! I mean, at this point, I was definitely awake, but I also finally confirmed that I have officially lost my mind. I'm going crazy if you guys couldn't already tell what the f did I just do? <laughs> and for my next trick, like what? And to further prove my point, I spent the next hour in game attending and officiating a cockroach funeral. Yes, really. <laughs> Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to mourn the loss of our friend, Mr. Roach. Now you may have just all known him as Mr. Roach, but to me, he was Kaka Roach. He was the one Roach I could rely on from day to day. <laughs> Getting cinematic shots for a freaking Roach funeral. He was there for all of you, constantly working, grinding his butt off day in and day out to put his cockroach babies through cockroach college. He was a brave roach this world didn't deserve, but the one it did need. Now everybody join me in typing 07s in the chat for Mr. Cockroach Roach as we send him off to cockroach heaven.
And now that I'm done being clinically insane at a roach funeral, now it's time to actually go find somebody with a Kermit the Frog and Elmo skin. Now, I'm not gonna lie, the Kermit one was really easy. I just went back to McDonald's and you always find a Kermit the Frog at McDonald's. Kermit, add me as a friend so I can be friends with a Kermit. All right, that's one, that's one off. Now I need to, I need to find Elmo. Change your smoke alarm battery. Your house is gonna burn down. There's spider webs up there, scary. Would you rather deal with a couple spider webs or a burned down house? I'm afraid of spider. Well, you're probably more afraid of a house fire, so you know. Wait, are you the YouTuber? <laughs> After adding Kermit, I then went back to the playground to look for Elmo. All right, now that I'm your size, have you seen Elmo? Now, I wasn't able to find Elmo, but luckily I did meet another person who watches my videos. Hello. Hey, Cereal, by the way, um, do you possibly do YouTube? Is that you, probably? Maybe. Yeah, my husband's freaking out. Yeah. <laughs> Come here, honey. Here you go. Go ahead. <laughs> hey, what's up, man? I'm looking for Elmo right now. Shout out to all of you guys that I met in game here that watch my videos because there was a lot of you and I appreciate all of you and I had a lot of fun. Um, I did see someone in the has-been community walk around with a Elmo skin, so probably check there. On my quest to find Elmo, I ran into Batman, hoping his super detective skills could lead me right to Elmo. She's asking if you are the YouTuber. No, man, I'm just a player. I'm just a VR chat model, you know? I thought you were the real one. No, nah, man, I'm not, unfortunately. She says I'm you sorry. sound exactly like him. She says you're f***ing lying, man. She Maybe. says you're the guy. I'm the guy? I'm the guy. Oh my you're bloody guy. god. <laughs> and just as I was adding more friends who watch my content, Batman pulled through for me. Oh, well, well, well. Look who we got over here. It's Elmo. Elmo is my friend. Successfully completed that challenge. Thank you, Elmo. My next challenge, now I have to find somebody that has an animal skin. I thought the best world to find an animal skin would probably be the duck world, which instantly proved me correct. Oh my God, it's, it's Bugs Bunny. I became an alcoholic. So yeah, you became an alcoholic. Bugs and I added each other as friends. And then on day 93, I completed one of the final challenges by finding someone with full body tracking and added them for friend number 99. Where's some where I can jump off the roof? Here, I'll show you. Come here. Yeah, we can do it together. We can recreate that meme where Kermit gets thrown off the roof. Oh my God. We were so close to the end of the challenge, I could taste it, but my energy levels were quickly falling. Oh boy, oh boy, I'm getting a little bit tired. It was finally time to attempt the hardest challenge of them all. The last challenge for this video is to find a friend that adds me without me saying a single word. It was a good thing I did put this challenge off to the end because I was definitely not prepared for how impossible this was going okay. to be. The microphone is off. Nobody can hear me in game, but I can hear them. Um, no, 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 come back, come back, come back, come back, come back. Gift for you, my friend. You think I'm, quote, cool? Yes, you're cool. Please be friends. No, I'm not going to have an intercourse with you. No, 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 that's not what I meant. That's not what that meant, no. You. Me. Friends. I'm sorry, I don't know how to speak. I can't speak to you. This is a challenge, but you can't hear anything I'm saying. Oh, this is so difficult. I'm never gonna get this. You wanna, you wanna add me? Oh my God, I hate this challenge. The Federation, no, no, you gotta add me. Wait, 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 no, 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 no. What a Oh, okay, I don't wanna add you. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This is torture, dude, like straight up. Oh, wait, pencils. Why, why can't I draw? I can't, I literally draw. I thought I finally got a map where I could draw. Ah, uh, Bro, what? Why can't I draw anything? Oh, please. At least, can somebody just like recognize me maybe? Jeffy, hey. Oh, come on, man. Okay, no, 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 no. Add me. Add me. Add me. Oh my God, I hate this. Friends? No friends for me. Therapy. Therapy. I said, I need friends, and he said, therapy. Right here, have me? I am weird. That's why I have no friends. No. 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 Hello. This is a cry for help. I have no friends. Nobody cares about my mental health. I have no friends, as you can see. I feel that. No, come back. Okay, well. I was feeling hopeless, and just as I was about to give up, I heard this. Is that the real are you is that isn't that a YouTuber? Yes, it is, it is. Oh my god, is this my chance? This was my only opportunity. I had to do everything I could to keep his attention on. Come me. here. Come here. Come over here. Yeah, right there. Right here. I can't see. I don't have 
And finally, it all came down to this. Can I show how friend you are? Are you super serious? Yes! And there it is, friend number 100. I rushed to unmute my mic to thank him for freeing me from this ridiculous challenge. Oh my God, thank you Yay. so much. You don't understand how long I've been trying to get somebody to f add me as a friend. I've spent like three and a half hours trying to get somebody to add me as a friend without talking. And you were the first person to do it. Thank you so much. So what made you what made you reach out and add me as a friend? I, I'm just curious. Oh, cause I just saw you were like a nice person. You were trying to talk this whole time. I thought you were just like one of those like silent people online. And there you have it. We all learned that the best things in life can come from you just being nice to other people. If you treat other people nicely, you never know what good it can bring to your life. And thank you, Mr. Plasma Laser, for freeing me from this virtual hell. You're welcome. Enjoy your time off of VR show. I'm free! That is 100 days and 100 friends in VR, meaning I can finally take this off. Oh my God, dude, my eyes and my head hurt so much. Nobody should ever spend that much time in VR, but I did it for your guys' comfort. So click one of these videos right now. I'm gonna go touch some grass. I'll see you guys in the next one.